Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Mike Filiber, Senior Pastor here at Heritage Presbyterian Church on this Friday, the 5th of February. So we're here for morning prayer on this, this day, this 5th of February. And I want to say happy birthday to some folks. First off, I want to say happy birthday to Clarence Hill. Happy birthday, Clarence. Woo, 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 woo. And also to Rayleigh Hardy. Rayleigh, happy birthday. If Chris doesn't treat you right, you let me know. I'll get on him, okay? So here's your birthday celebration. Woo! But also today is the birthday of a man who died in 2014. His name was John Jenkins. John had been an atheist, and then... He was converted, and my friend John Butler baptized him in September. Uh, baptized him in 2014. I'll never forget hearing his profession of faith and his baptism. Today's his birthday, and I just remembered that this is his day. Well, we're here at morning prayer. We're working our way quickly through the Trinity hymnal, just a couple of verses from the hymns. And so this is hymn 11, which is a metrical rendition of Psalm 72, or portion of Psalm 72. Here are the first two verses. Now, blessed be the Lord our God, the God of Israel, for he alone doth wondrous works and glory that excel. And blessed be his glorious name to all eternity. The whole earth let his glory fill. Amen. So let it be. What a great hymn. And so now we're at our Bible reading, and our Bible reading is Proverbs 9, or Proverbs 10. Proverbs 10. The Proverbs of Solomon. A wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish son is a sorrow to his mother. Treasures gained by wickedness do not profit, but righteousness delivers from death. The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. A slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. He who gathers in summer is a prudent man, but he who sleeps in harvest is a son who brings shame. Blessings are on the head of the righteous, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. The memory of the righteous is a blessing, but the name of the wicked will rot. The wise of heart will receive, a, receive commandments, but a babbling fool will come to ruin. Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but he who makes his ways crooked will be found out. Whoever winks the eye causes trouble, and a babbling fool will come to ruin. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all offenses. On the lips of him who has understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him who lacks sense. The wise lay up knowledge, but the mouth of a fool brings ruin near. A rich man's wealth is his strong city. The poverty of the poor is their ruin. The wage of the righteous leads to life. The gain of the wicked to sin. Whoever heeds instruction is on the path to life, but he who rejects reproof leads others astray. The one who conceals hatred has lying lips, and whoever utters slander is a fool. When words are many, transgression is not lacking, but whoever restrains his lips is prudent. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver. The heart of the wicked is of little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for lack of sense. The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Doing wrong is like a joke to a fool, but wisdom is pleasure to a man of understanding. What the wicked dreads will come upon him, but the desire of the righteous will be granted. When the tempest passes, the wicked is no more, but the righteous is established forever. Like vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to those who send him. The fear of the Lord prolongs life, but the years of the wicked will be short. The hope of the righteous brings joy, but the expectation of the wicked will perish. The way of the Lord is a stronghold to the blameless, but destruction to evildoers. The righteous will never be removed, but the wicked will not dwell in the land. The mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom, but the perverse tongue will be cut off. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked what is perverse. That was Proverbs 10. And you'll notice in Proverbs 10 that this dad who's writing to his son is going to talk a lot about uh, sex and drugs and women and speech and just behavioral stuff. What, just about every godly father I know wants to tell their kids, and so it's very fitting. Uh, but there's so much depth and wisdom here. That was Proverbs 10. We're going to pray for the birthday folks and then move on in our prayers. Lord God, we thank you for Clarence and for uh, Rayleigh for their, their birthday. We ask you to bless them this day, that it would be a good day of celebration 
and rejoicing because life is a gift and you have blessed us with that gift and we receive it with gratitude. It's the best way to receive it. And so for Clarence and Rayleigh, I pray for this coming year that they would thrive and grow in wisdom's way and find themselves um, um, being promoters, not of uh, uh, promoters of love and peace and compassion, Lord, and that they would see you strengthening their hand and guiding them in the way that is right with integrity and wisdom. And may this year, this coming year for them, be full of joy. Lord, thank you for the memory of John Jenkins. I thank you for the blessing of being able to watch uh, John Butler baptize him back in 2014 to hear his confession. I thank you for his memory. And I pray that we would see many more John Jenkins coming to faith in Christ. In the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to my soul, flee like a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend the bow. They have fitted their arrow to the string to shoot in the dark at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? O Lord, our refuge, the shelter in the midst of the storm for those who are taunted and teased by their afflictions and ailments, burdens, or billowousness, taunted to flee like a bird to your mountain. And so we pray, Lord, we pray that you would be with um, um, people, the kids with Compassion International, especially with Amelia and her mother in Bolivia, that you would heal uh, Amelia's mother from cancer and diabetes so that she can care for and protect her daughter. And we pray for um, Cheryl and for others, Lord. We ask you to enfold them in your compassion and fill them with courage that they may rejoice in your goodness. For those being aimed at by the bow of the wicked, shot at in the dark and dimness, we pray. We ask you to shield them from the fiery darts and screen them from the slander and the spite. For those who are rocking and reeling and feeling as if the bottom is falling out, we pray. May they find in you their sure foundation and be built up in sturdy strength. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes uh, see, his eyelids test the children of man. The Lord tests the righteous, but his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. O Lord, high and lifted up many in academia and in positions of power and prominence in our broadcasting and print outlets act and function as if they are gods, high and mighty in their own opinions and their own derisiveness. Many in our institutions of science and medicine proceed and pronounce as if the sun rises and sets at their bidding. We ask you to bring them to know that they are but mere dust before you and that they are faulty and frail mortals who are given each breath and each opportunity to think and speak and live as a gift from your hand. Bring them to bow the knee before your son, Jesus Christ, now before he returns to judge the living and the dead. And for our own country and all the nations of the world, we pray, arise, O Lord, let not man prevail, let the nations be judged before you. Put them in fear, O Lord, let the nations know that they are but men. Let him who reigns coals on the wicked, fire and, and sulfur in a scorching wind. Uh, let him rain coals on the wicked, fire and sulfur in a scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. Well, Father, we pray for your church that spans around the globe. We pray for Heritage Presbyterian Church. We pray for our Needlework Guild here and its service and ministry for Bill and Benny, Marge, Max, and Kristen. And we pray for Captain Martin Hahn, of Scott, uh, who is serving at Scott Chapel at Scott Air Force Base, the work that he is doing there. Lord, you are righteous and you love righteous deeds. May your righteousness triumph among us. Produce repentance where there has been a history of hard-headed recalcitrance. Grace where there has been hard-nosed legalism. Peace where there have been heartless divisions. Hope where there has been helpless trouble ongoing fortitude where there has been biblical faithfulness and outright success where there has been gospel outreach. Hasten the day when the upright will behold your face by the saving power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, thank you that we can pray to you and that we can come to you as a father who is able uh, and ready to help his children. May our hearts rejoice in you. Bless us this, the, this weekend and keep us safe and preserve us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, that last prayer, that long prayer, was from my book to you, I Lift Up My Soul. That's it for morning prayer this week. I'll be back on Monday. Until then, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.